What's up guys, Mr. Anderson336 here. I'm back with a new replay, or another replay. Uh, my computer finally got fixed, and well, we're back with some old replays. Replays from 9.17.2, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but it doesn't really matter. It's working, and well, well, that's it, basically. So I'm in the, I'm on the Chandra map. I'm in the M40, M43 uh, tier. Eight American artillery piece. We have a very big gun here. I think it's an H H. I think it's an eight inch gun. Uh, I think it's eighteen hundred and or seventeen hundred and fifty damage. I have a platoon mate, Malai, a friend of mine, in the Lorene uh, CR seven artillery piece. And this replay was from a time before the artillery got nerfed or buffed or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it was from the time where artillery could do a lot of damage And that is why we're showcasing it here today to showcase how nasty this replay and this a like, mechanic or whatever you want to call it in World Tanks actually was so whatever you can you can look at it on in serial or in different ways, but anyway So taking our first shot after the T-54 not able to hit him. Well, we may have splashed him But not sure uh, we are now looking on the other flank where we didn't send anybody to fight, so that flank has obviously fallen. And uh, well, we're gonna see what we can do to save our asses here because we are artillery and we are selfish beings. So let's see if we can kill this IS 6. He has 1050, well, he has 446 health. Oh, well, let's see if we can take him out. We have to have 1800 and something damage, so we might be able to clean hit and kill him in the process. So that's nice. Um, yeah, now we have to reload for 40 seconds. But yeah, taking him out was fairly important because he, well, he wasn't topped here, but he is a very good tank. The IS-6 is still a decent tank. Um, I should, however, focus on the T-26E5 on the other flank, though, because that tank do have some very, very impressive armor. But yeah, anyway, we need to defend our asses first, so we're looking on this flank. Who will be our next victim is a question, and... More often than not, I'm against shooting uh, tanks that are two tiers below me. But this guy is getting closer. I should probably focus on the S-Pick, but yeah, never mind that. Uh, this guy is very close and he is able to one-shot me if he hits me. Well, he has 390 damage, so he might be able to one-shot me. He's a bit hesitant of uh, on driving forward, but uh, yeah, we put a nice big shot into the side of him and well, he's probably dead already. Another reload for 40 seconds, so yeah, that's that. But that's like one of the major uh, negative things about artillery pieces. When they have that long reload and you don't have anything to do, that's kind of boring, so hey. T-34 just fired. We're around halfway through our reload, so we might be able to get a shot on this T-34 black. Or T-34B, or whatever you want to call it. I mean, if I had a smaller gun, I would have been able to shoot him uh, right now, I guess. And I guess that is my friend in the Lorraine, Lorraine missing him, unfortunately. So, tree falling there, but I'm not trying to lead my shots. I'm waiting for my guys to spot him. I do have a Bulldog and a Type 62 that might be able to spot this guy, so that's nice. Come on, guys. Do your job. Thank you. Yes, stopped. Stop camping. And I think we actually shoot under him or right next to him, but anyway, we do around 700 damage to him and my friend in the Lorraine finish him off. Type 69 is getting awfully close and I'm not super happy with that. We're only leading with one tank right now, so uh, yeah, this could go both ways. Uh, yeah. Question is, what should we shoot next? In the start, there's plenty to shoot up, which is nice, but yeah, that could change very quickly. Oh, whoops. Still looking for that Type 69, but he changed places, so. Looking for the KV-4, not able to get a shot on him. Oh, KV-3 camping in the back, we should probably punish him for it. He's sniping in a KV-3, I'm really uh, not happy with that, we should punish him for it. Stop camping. Critical hit. 642 damage is a decent hit. 
so yeah, I'm happy with that. It's a bit sad that we took that shot actually because the STRE 103, the new Swedish tier 9, had no armor whatsoever, uh, just appeared. Uh, well, we could have one shot him if we uh, would have been able to see him or hit him, but anyway, he's running right now, so that's fine. So now the score is 10 10, so yeah. Nothing has really changed, I guess you could say. Gabriel okay, is still camping. Yeah, my friend is also punishing him for it, which is nice. Could take him out, but then again, there is this Type 69, and he is awfully close. He is an autoload as well, so we should take him out first. He's the biggest threat to my health or my tank right now. Trying to find a shot on him, but yeah, not having too much luck doing that. It's turning. Fuck it, let's take a flying shot. We managed to hit him and kill him in the process. He had around 400 HP, so I'm not, I'm not too ha unhappy with that shot. That was decent. That was nice. That was fine. So, now we're leading with two tanks. We might still be able to win this one, actually. I guess Malai is shooting after the Lorraine, but I'm... Well, not the Lorraine. The KV-3, but I don't know. <laughs> anyway. We have a Bulldog out scouting for the... Um, <clears throat> For the KV-3 and the STRV, maybe the artillery piece even, um, maybe even the artillery piece. But yeah, anyway. Okay, so the STRV might be where I'm looking for him, but then again, that tank is very stealthy and well, he can hide almost anywhere, any, anywhere on the map, I guess. Not 100% sure though. Question is, where is this guy actually hiding? I might still in some. I might put in some music here. I'm not 100 percent sure though. Hey, we found the KV3. Oh, the bulldog found the KV3. Bulldog might be able to take. He might even be able to take out the KV3. Anyway, my friend says he has a shot, but he missed. So I'm like, okay, we had, we take the blind shot. Second blind killed this game, which is nice. So I'm happy with that. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, so the Bulldog has went have has gone to the corner of the map and has still haven't spotted any artillery piece. So he has probably changed position. Question is where is he where is he actually hiding? What's our Jack Tiger friend doing? Let's see how much he'll Okay, he is within two shots uh, shoot two shot from the SDRV one oh three kill range, so yeah he should probably watch out. Wonder what he shot him actually. Oh, it's our bulldog thing. Bulldog is also one shot, so... They're two very, um... They're two, they are two very, uh, damaged, damaged tanks and should probably be careful. I'm advising the Yak Tiger to camp and the spot I'm talking behind is, like, is around this rock. Okay, the STRV appears above me. That's interesting. Wow, he has the gun depression to take out my friend, so that's nothing, there's nothing to do there. And I'm not having the angle to shoot him. I mean, I think he should charge and try to kill me in the process, but yeah, he's not able to do that. Okay, we're not able to move our camera and see what the Bulldog is doing against the artillery piece. Which kind of sucks, but it's fine. Yaktaga has taken my advice and has started the cap, so that's nice. Bulldog, I think he is trying to spot the STRV, but yeah, the SIRV is just too stealthy and... Well, maybe even the M5355, my dad, so to say, uh, spotted him, so yeah, that's that. I don't think the Yak Tiger will be able to make the cab in time. And I should probably set up an ambush for the STRV or the artillery piece, hoping that the STRV might bounce a shot. But you can say in this end game phase, he might be firing gold because you really don't want to bounce your shot at this point of the game. So that, yeah. That's the thing. Five minutes left of the battle. He still have plenty of time to cap. So, I am trying to figure out why where the STRV or the artillery piece might show up. But I'm guessing that the STRV might be the scout for the Yak Tiger, while the M5355 will shoot him. So artillery shoot him for 500, and the STRV finish him off. I do, ha I do have this one chance to kill the STRV and my shot connects. By the lord of RNGesus it actually connects to the STRV 103. 
We actually managed to take that tank out from 1500 HP, which is super nice because there's a chance that we might win this game right now. We still have around 30 to 40, 20 to 30 seconds of Reno to complete, and we need to move. I think my best choice here is to cap. But then again, it is the M5355 list on the enemy team. My tank is not super fast, not compared to the uh, 55, but I can still do a decent speed of 38 kilometers. So I might try to go for their cap. Question is, where is this guy actually? He's behind me, okay. So he is going to where I was spoke last time. He could take a blind shot, or well, a wild shot or something right now uh, and try to take me out. And it even looks like the Yak Tiger or the Bulldog have hit him. But yeah, who knows. But what I'm gonna do is, he's in my cap. If he's coming for me, I'm gonna put up an ambush here. And I might be able to trick him. I was trying to go for the cap right here, but yeah, he went out of the cap. Like, which means that he might be going over the bridge. And I'm almost done aiming right now. So, oh, hello. GG well played, and let's take a look at the post-game stats. So out of this match, we got a Tangays, we got a uh, Bruiser, we got High Caliber, we got a Gorse Medal, we got 60,000 credits and 2,200 experience. 5,668 damage, 5 kills, 1,474 base experience. My friend managed to do 1,000 damage and get 2 kills. 9 shots fired, 6 hit, 6 penetrations, 3 splash damage, 5,668 damage. We only paid for our ammunition this game since we didn't, took, didn't take any damage and we made a profit on 42k. Thanks for watching guys, have an awesome day whenever you watch this. Remember to have fun with the games because that's why they're made. I'm Mr. Rangers in 336 and I'm out.